Hi. Hey, Jen, you ready? Come on in, yeah. All right, let's do this. How are you? I'm fine. Ooh, nice sign. So where's your art? Well, all in here. Ooh, show me, please. Come on in. All right, what are you working on over here? So uh, right now I am working on some commission orders for charcuterie boards, and I'm also working on other things that I'm going to be able to put on my website later. So Jen, what inspires you? Well, I've gained a lot of inspiration from artists that I follow um, on Instagram and other social media platforms. So what do you think is the most unique thing about your products? Well, I think one of the most unique things about my products is that they're all different. Because it's fluid art, you can't predict what it's gonna do. It, it's gonna do its own thing no matter what you try and make it do. Hey, look at that. You have a Lord of the Rings Tower of Tools right behind you. I do. So is there any specific one you like to use the most? Oh, well, doing fluid art, probably the most important thing that I use is gloves. <laughs> so I've got my tower of gloves right here. And then I also really like to be able to use my torches because they take all the bubbles out of my resin. What is your favorite piece that you've done for yourself that is completely outside of the box that is not commissioned? Uh, so one that I keep doing over and over again, it's a reoccurring piece in my house, is one that's actually over here. Do you want to see it? Yeah, let's go take a look. So this piece I've done several times. I think this is the third layer of paint that's on it. And it's actually one of my ways to try out new techniques because before I ever put anything into commission or before I put it on my website, I wanna make sure that I like the way it looks. So I think this is the third time that, <laughs> that I've done this one, trying out different techniques. How do you go about your orders and processing them? So my orders, I have, um, I have my studio obviously that we are already in. And then over here, I've got kind of like my tiny business center where I am able to process orders and print out labels and get everything set to package and ship. Can you show me how you package your items? Sure. So on my orders, I'm able to, let's see here, print labels real easily from my printer. There we go. Make sure that it's the right size. It is. So how did you find Rolo? So, I found Rolo through Instagram. Where do you package your items at? So I actually package my art items right behind you. I've got a table in my little mini business center here, and this is where I get everything packaged up and ready to send. Show me how you package your products. Well, when I package, I wrap everything that I send. I like to wrap it not only to protect the piece, but when you get the piece and you open up the box, it's nice to have packages to open. Presents are fun. I keep a small area with everything that I need so that it's real easy to package. When I package things up, now this is already packaged, but in here is a piece of art and I wrap everything in paper to protect it. Of course, the label goes on top and there's always a thank you sticker as well. So tell me something, Jen. Why do you like your Rolo so much? Because it's so easy to use. You don't make the mistakes that you make with handwriting things out. It has been a game changer. It works so well. And that's why I love my Rolo.